Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, as you're uh, coming in, please uh, um, mute your uh, microphones. Uh, thank you for coming. So, bienvenidos todos. Mientras están llegando todas las personas, por favor, pongan sus micrófonos en silencio. Welcome, welcome, bienvenidos. Okay. Bienvenidas, bienvenides. Oh, there we go, got it. Right. So as you're coming in, uh, please mute your microphones. En, en lo que están entrando, por favor, uh, pongan sus micrófonos en silencio. Uh, vamos a estar empezando en uno, unos minutos. Un par de minutos. <coughs> okay. All right. I think this is... Bienvenidos, welcome everybody. Okay. Um, so we're gonna get uh, started. Um, <clears throat> my name is William Flores. Mi nombre es William Flores. Uh, welcome to the community meeting number four for the Wall One Euro Unveiling. Bienvenidos a la, uh, la uh, presentación de la primer uh, pared que vamos a estar pintando en su centro. Ahora es abril 2, uh, 2022. Uh, so today is uh, April 2nd, 2022. Welcome to the first mural of, of building over at the Quincy Jones, uh, the Central Jefferson and Quincy Jones uh, Green Elliott Way Network um, brought to you by the Sausage and Arts in collaboration with the Urban Studios. Uh, so, uh, uh, bienvenidos a, a la presentación para um, el, este mural. So, um, somos las Artes de Sur Centro en colaboración con, la, con um, the Urban Studios. Y um, this project has been brought to us by the Trust for Public Land in collaboration with the, uh, the uh, Department of Sanitation with the City of Los Angeles and CD9. Uh, so este, esta presentación, este proyecto ha sido traído um, gracias a the Church for Public Land, el, el Departamento de Sanitación uh, de Los Ángeles y el Distrito Consulado de Nueve. Um, so um, we're going to be going into, uh, I want to introduce Alexia, uh, who is going to be um, bringing the, talking about the translation, if anybody needs a minor legal translation in Spanish. So voy a presentar a, a Alexia. Um, ella va a estar a, 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 dando las instrucciones para aquellos que necesiten um, traducción en español. Eh, gracias. Hola, hola. Muy buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Alexia. Voy a estar interpretando entre el inglés y el español el día de hoy. Y para facilitar la conversación vamos a estar utilizando la herramienta de interpretación de Zoom que todavía no ha sido activada, pero una vez que se active, les voy a explicar qué es lo que van a ver en su pantalla. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Alexia. I am going to be your interpreter between English and Spanish. And to facilitate the conversation, today we're going to be using the Zoom interpreting function that has not been activated yet. But once it is, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to see on your screen. Entonces, eh, cuando se active, van a ver un icono en forma de globo que va a aparecer en la parte de abajo de su pantalla. Gracias. Eh, le dan clic ahí y luego seleccionan su canal, ya sea inglés o español. Si están en un teléfono o en una tableta, le dan clic al botón que tiene tres puntos que dice More. Después van a Interpretación de Idiomas o Language Interpretation y después le dan clic a Inglés o Español. Um, so if you are on a computer, you're going to click on uh, the globe shaped icon at the bottom of your screen. It's going to appear right there on your bar. 
You click there, and then you select your language channel, English or Spanish. If you're on a tablet or a phone, it's going to look different. It has three dots. It says more than language interpretation. And then you select your language channel. Um, para la conversación multilingüe, siempre les recomiendo, si no se sienten cómodos en los dos idiomas, seleccionen un canal de idioma y quédense ahí por la duración de la reunión para que podamos eh, tener una conversación fluida. So for a multilingual, bilingual conversation, I just always suggest that if you do not feel super comfortable in both languages, just select a language channel at the beginning of the meeting and just stay there so the conversation can flow. Lo último es, si les pido por favor que llevemos un paso moderado al hablar. Eh, si por cualquier cosa están hablando muy rápido, les voy a mandar un mensaje por la cajita del chat, nada más como recordatorio. Y mantengamos nuestros micrófonos en silencio cuando no estemos participando para minimizar todo el ruido de fondo. So, just a couple of guidelines for best communication. Let's keep a moderate pace when we're speaking. Uh, if you're speaking too fast, maybe I'm going to send you a little message via the chat box, just as a gentle reminder. And also, let's keep our mics muted when we are not participating so we can minimize any background noise. Creo que eso es todo por mi parte. Cualquier problema que tengan con la interpretación, háganmelo saber vía el chat y les voy a poder ayudar. Siempre es muy lindo estar aquí apoyando este proyecto con todos ustedes. So that is it from my end. If you have any issues with interpreting, just let me know via the chat and I will be happy to help you. And it is always very lovely to be here supporting you all in this wonderful project. Thank you. Thank you, Alexia. Uh... So I'm gonna be introducing Pamela Soto uh, with the Trust for Public Land and uh, oh. she's gonna go over the project elements. Hey everyone, and yeah, I can just go ahead. Thanks, Will, unless do I need to pause for translation? No, it's going to be simultaneous, but I, I they need to assign the... There it is. Okay, I see it popped up. So good morning, everyone. My name is Pamela Soto. I am a project manager with an organization called the Trust for Public Land. We're a nonprofit organization that works on parks and open space projects across the country. And we've been working here in the city of Los Angeles. Um, this is our third Green Alley project. We are partnering with the city of Los Angeles, specifically LA Sanitation, and also the council office, CD9, and many, many other partners. The goal of this project is to transform and renovate um, a network of alleys here in South LA. Unfortunately, many of the alleys are in very poor condition. They aren't usually seen by folks, so they're neglected and the site of lots of illegal dumping. And we want to reimagine um, the potential, <laughs> their potential and just make them better, safer and more inviting spaces. Um, so for this project, we're installing stormwater best management practices. That's where a lot of the funding comes from. But when it rains here in South LA, these alleys will um, function to capture and infiltrate all of that rainwater and actually uh, take it into the underground aquifer. Um, well, we're also installing lights and signage, native plants, um, the goal is to make these safer spaces for walking and biking and increasing the connectivity in the neighborhood in that way. There will be um, decorative pavement, not like the one in the photo, that's the previous Green Alley project. And of course, public art is a, is a huge part, which is uh, what we're all going to be talking about today. As I mentioned, this project will have um, interpretive uh, language that was chosen in consultation with community folks at a previous uh, community meeting, but uh, this will educate people on the, pro the project area's cultural history, neighborhood history, information about the watershed um, and the benefits um, related to the stormwater capture, native plants, and also uh, recognition of the indigenous people that lived in this area and continue to live in this area and also um, acknowledging the funders and uh, there's also some poetry and that will all go on the ground. And uh, 
I mentioned there will be decorative pavement. It's going to be thermoplastic material and come in uh, these colors. So these are some fun, some fun renderings. Um, each pattern represents a different weaving stitch. Weaving was a theme that the designers chose um, for this project. Um, and I can pause there unless anyone has questions about the overall Green Alley project. All right, cool. Uh, thank you, Pamela. Uh, um, so uh, what we're seeing right now is a map of the Quincy Jones Green Alley ne Network. Um, it's a two-part um, uh, project of uh, Central Jefferson and uh, the Quincy Jones Green Alley Network. The area that we're talking about uh, today is we're going to be right here on the corner of Martin Luther King and Central Avenue on the west side of Central. Um, Ali uh, facing Watworth Elementary School. Now, um, we want to um, make sure that everybody's up to date with uh, the processes that's that's happening with the project. So we want to uh, make sure that everybody's aware of the where you can go uh, to get more information. You can uh, go to www southcentralarts.com and right here you will find the links to upcoming meetings you will find the um form uh like for the uh if you want to volunteer or continue to get more information on the project fill the form out uh and you, you also have a community survey um that we uh were able to capture a lot of information from the community members so that the vision of the community is reflected on these walls. And so um, we were uh, able to capture uh, over 50 uh, community surveys. Uh, at, that, at, at the moment, we have uh, approximately 56 uh, surveys. We, we're still capturing some more uh, surveys, but um, more, the majority of it comes from 90011. And the, the biggest, um, uh, most requested uh, piece for these walls has been culture. So what would you like to see reflected on the walls? Uh, what will be that we will paint? Uh, people want to see culture. And with that, um, I would like to introduce um, our lead artist mentor. Eric King Create Walker. Eric King Create Walker has been doing art for 40 years strong and has continued to do art in the scene, making a difference, helping others through art as therapy. In the early 80s in LA, King Create made a name for himself in the art form called style writing, but commonly known as street art or graffiti art. He has a exhibited his masterpieces in the Pasadena USC Pacific Asia Museum. California African American Museum, ESMA, LACMA, MOCA, and the Getty Museum. Research Institute of uh, uh, per Permanent Collection, to name a few. As a commercial artist, he worked for clients including McDonald's, Nike, General Motors, Mars Candy, Dodge, and many more. His canvases have appeared in music videos for Maya and Genuine and films such as Friday After Next and Anchorman. His creative diversity embraces many styles for almost anyone and is truly a force to be working with. Ladies, everybody, um, uh, I will introduce to you Eric King Create Walker. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here. And thank you for that great introduction, Will. And so, yeah, basically, everybody that's on here viewing, I just wanted you guys to know my role. Uh, I am like the lead artist on the project to oversee and to make for sure that um, every participant or every art participant that's doing the mural, that they're, um, that they're able to succeed in accomplishing producing these murals, you know, based upon, you know, their experience and then also based upon my professional experience with doing uh, a lot of murals throughout many of years. So 
you know, one thing that I've been really reinforcing throughout this period of time going through the process is that, um, you know, I help people to feel more comfortable into approaching the situation of doing walls because we have some artists that's participating that's, um, this may be their first time doing murals and I want them to be comfortable. So as a support system, you know, it's, it's me, um, there's uh, Eric Montalongo Muse. We're going to be working with the artists to make for sure we help guide them through properly. And uh, so that, that's pretty much my standpoint. But as I conclude, I would like to introduce the wonderful artist by the name of Eric, Erica Montalongo, AKA she's known as Muse. She's an artist based in South Central Los Angeles. Erica works with acrylics, aerosol paint, color pencils, and silk screening. She has been a part of local projects, assisting lead artists as well as working on her own projects. While she is primarily self-taught, Erica has also trained in silk screening, painting, and drawing at Los Angeles Trade Technical College. Her art focuses on self-discovery, self-reflection, Mother Earth, her community, and their struggles while highlighting culture, knowledge, and liberation. So I greatly introduce Miss Erica, aka Muse. Thank you so much for that uh, uh, introduction, Create, and thank you for um, being a part of this project and being um, uh, the lead artist mentor. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Erica Montelongo. Um, my artist name is Muse. Um, my role in this project is an artist mentor, so I'm also um, here to support Create and also here to support um, the artists with anything that they may need. And um, I can present our highlighted artist, highlighted artist, excuse me, um, Melissa Rodriguez. Um, so Melissa Rodriguez is a 28-year-old artist, mother who loves to document life in any medium. She has experimented with both wet and dry media, which include oil, acrylic, watercolor, pastels, graphite, digital, and even metal sculpting. The purpose in the work I create is to portray the subject in a way that mirrors the realities of life, which brings me to my favorite subject to draw, the human body. Her favorite person to draw is my son. Not only is he my inspiration behind every work, but also a reminder of how important influence is. She's excited to be a part of this new endeavor, which so in being part of talented creatives that will help beautify our community and to inspire our growing youth. Thank you, Erica, and thank you everyone for joining today. I am one of the artists working on this mural with the help of our mentors, and I hope to deliver the community's vision on the first wall. Um, Eric, like, my, like Erica said, my name is Melissa Rodriguez, and growing up, I learned very early on that regardless of our economic class, art was universal and that it could break any language or cultural barrier by inviting us into the eyes and feelings of the artists and most importantly for this concept, the community. So thank you everyone. The name of my mural is the rhythmic language of our community and it is influenced by underlining the importance of music and other key elements that were selected through the community surveys. Using the original layout of the wall I decided to honor jazz by involving three of the most prolific jazz musicians on the right-hand side, which are Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald, and Miles Davis, all respectfully shown with their instrument of choice and Ella, of course, with her microphone. By honoring jazz through the representation of these notable figures, we are bringing forward history. Jazz itself has attributed so much and holds a cultural importance to fashion, poetry, and even the civil rights movement. <clears throat> Below these icons, I also wanted to include a Metro bus, which highlights the importance of mobility amongst our community as one of our main means of transportation. It highlights how our people are itinerant and how public transportation has helped us navigate our way through education, or even employment and always back to the security of our homes. Other ideas gathered from the community responses were 
about nature and conservation. This is reflected through the floral designs flowing across like sound waves, which was done intentionally to tie back to the central theme of music. In this concept, I also wanted to make sure to include specific native plants and they are represented through our native flowers like the blue-eyed grass, the Douglas iris and the California poppy. Other flowers like the rose are iconic because they are common amongst our local vendors. So I wanted to make sure that they were represented as well. And lastly, the marigold, also known as empasuchil, which brings importance for those in our community that celebrate the Day of the Dead, AKA Dia de los Muertos. Um, lastly, I wanted to honor our youth through programs or and organizations like APCH, who I did want to recognize through their devotion to the community by not only helping children, but also providing resources to the community as a whole. Um, <clears throat> my original idea, I did want to say, started out portraying very, uh, a very incomplete concept, but it was through the community surveys that I was able to <clears throat> reflect your vision and find a centralized theme to this mural. I also want to say that the majority of the surveys <clears throat> reflected culture and diversity, but there were specific responses that also mentioned um, transportation and other elements again, like APCH. Um, so yes, again, thank you everyone for your involvement and your voices. And I hope you guys enjoyed this concept for the mural. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Um, and as everybody is uh, um, has been uh, coming in and uh, seeing the the mural uh, as it has been presented, uh, we would like to um, also take any uh, comments, questions, or concerns um, uh, in regards to the the mural. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, I, I am Ramin, the uh, owner of the property, and I wanted to thank you. Uh, it's really beautiful. Uh, thank you for the work. Um, I wanted to see if um, on the where the bus is on the the, the, the street sign. Um, would it be okay to add South Central on the on that street sign? You think it would be a good idea? We will be. Taking... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, thank you for that suggestion. We'll definitely um, note that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the work. Anything? Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, nice to meet you. Thank you. Go ahead, Melissa. Sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. I just wanted to um I just wanted to um thank the owner because I don't think I've met him. Um so thank you again and I appreciate the feedback. Awesome. Are there any other questions? comments in Spanish or English? Um, I just want to comment a great presentation. The wall is going to look so amazing and I'm really looking forward to it, Melissa. Thank you. Uh, real quick, oh. I uh, I've just got a request to show the, the wall in its current state. I was about to drop it into the presentation, but um, okay. well, any chance you have it on hand? Um, otherwise, I can try to paste it in right now. Um, we It's a part of the rendering. I don't have the, let me see. Where's that? Right, right there on the left. It's not facing the, the the picture, but let me see if I can find one real quick. I uh, I just added it in. If you okay. want to to move, close the slide, 
and then open it back up so it reloads, but it's right after Q and A. Okay. Yeah, you might have to refresh it. There it is. And we also want to give a, a huge thanks, you know, to um, On and Kraken, who is um, um, the business that's uh, operating uh, at, at this location at the moment. Um, they, they have been very supportive of the project and uh, we want to give them a, a huge thank you and shout out. That, 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 that's the grill that they use. I just wanted to reiterate, um how much community engagement has led to this point in time. There were, you know, three different <laughs> community Zoom meetings, that community survey. And I think that all of the, the themes and suggestions that were part of that process came through in this mural in a really nice way, with uh, just making it really specific to this neighborhood and the neighborhood's history and culture. Awesome. And um, if there aren't any more um, questions or comments, um, Pamela, would you, uh, you have the floor? If sure. you wanted to talk about uh, April, April 16, which is the groundbreaking. Yeah. Um, are you seeing the flyer right now? Yeah, okay, so April 16th, so that's I think two Saturdays from now is when we're planning to have the groundbreaking event for the Central Jefferson and Quincy Jones <laughs> Green Alley uh, project. Um, a little bit separate from the mural process, but this is about the earth moving that needs to happen, demolition <laughs> and you know, putting everything underground and above ground on the alleys themselves. So, um, it should be a great event. We're excited to be making progress on this project. And uh, I can share this flyer with all of y'all, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Cool. All right, are there um, any other comments, questions or on uh, the April 16th event, anyone? And of so, course, it'll be at Jazz Park. <laughs> That's an important thing to know. Um, so it's one of the alleys that we're working on is right next to Jazz Park. Cool. All right. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to share a quick, um, you know, environmental justice poem with y'all. Um, to uh, close out and, and an appreciation for everybody that has um, um, partaken in this project. Um, this is a, a go green or no home. Is it too much to ask to just learn from the past when the air that we breathe is like a poisonous gas? I wish you could see through the soul of a tree and know that the key is within you and me. But there's nothing but dirt and just broken cement covering the earth that we need to protect for what goes around well you know the rest no wonder our mother is getting so stressed but the war is not over let the battle begin with our powers combined i know we can win we're all like a seed that we're placing this earth with a god-given talent we were given at birth but talk can be cheap so let it be done and better the future till the battle is won and if ever you feel like you're getting off course, only remember the power is yours. <laughs> what? <Hey. laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for, for, for your time. And um, thank you for your, your, your comments, your questions. And uh, um, I'll, I wanna open it up. Uh, um, uh, if there's any anybody that wants to just share any comments um, before we close out. Sí, yo quiero comentar algo. Okay, sí. Hola, buenos días. Mi nombre es Sofía Girón. ¿Sí me escuchan? Sí, se escucha. Hello. Yes. 
Okay. Sí. Uh, solo quiero compartir que he tenido la oportunidad de participar en los callejones anteriores y es una bonita experiencia y a mí me gustó mucho porque también involucré a mi hija y a los demás estudiantes de las demás escuelas y la parte de la comunidad, el equipo verde, ¿verdad? Y es un bonito proyecto porque te motiva, te motiva porque haces cambios en tu comunidad y pues yo al principio decía, ¿cuándo se van a hacer estos cambios? Y cuando los vimos, pues es una, ahora sí que es una emoción ver el cambio en tu comunidad y es una, una motivación más pues para hacer y apoyar este bonito proyecto que, que están haciendo todos. Muchas gracias. Uh, uh, y gracias por su apoyo y por su eh, estar, ser, estar involucrada en el proyecto. Uh, nosotros eh, no, nos, estamos orgullosos de apoyar a, a la comunidad y a los miembros de la comunidad como usted uh, para uh, mejorar esta, esta comunidad. So, muchas gracias por sus palabras uh, y por, su, por estar presente. Gracias. Oh, disculpe, se, se, se está quebrando la, la conexión. No se le oye sí. muy claro. Sí, lo que pasa es que ya Oh, mucha, muchas gracias uh, a Sofía uh, y uh, a, gracias Robin uh, y gracias a, a todos los que están aquí presentes uh, si alguien más tiene algún comentario uh, if, if somebody else thank you uh, Sofía thank you Robin if somebody else has another comment uh, this is the space to uh, to share Okay, can we just share something I just wanted to share about, uh, does anybody, is everybody familiar with the uh, Redland Alley? Uh, it's called Orange Street Alley. They, they, did the, they did the alley. It's a kind of different than ours, but uh, I just wanted to know if everybody, they know about this, it's in Redlands city and it's really beautiful just wanted to share so if you want to get some ideas also thank you i'll look at it um so it's good to have more precedents for cool alleys great great thank you thank you so the city is called redland is that what you said yes if you google redlands and it's called or if you just google oh i see um, yeah, with the umbrellas. Yes, yes. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Well, this this concludes our 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 uh, community meeting uh, number four um, for the Green Alleyways Network project. Thank you all for your participation. Thank y'all for your involvement and, and uh, remember to stay uh, in touch with us at uh, www.sawcenterlarts.com. Have a great day. Thank you. Y'all right. take care. Bye. Bye-bye, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you so much, Alexia.